Hello again, Steve Rowan at RSR Research, and today we're walking through in a very short format some of the most interesting data points from our most recent benchmark on location analytics that we titled Location Intelligence and Retail, The Power of Where. Uh, within the report itself, the full report, which is available on our website to everyone, uh, we walk through, of course, like every report we do, the technology asset, the tech enablers, asking retailers to self-identify, you know, where have you earmarked budget for certain technologies? What are things that you've already purchased? What are you happy with? What are you not happy with? What do you just flat out not find interesting? Uh, and some of the things that we did find interesting is that when it relates to location analytics, this really is a winner's playground. Retail winners, again, a term that we use quite frequently. Um, those are retailers who are already outperforming their peers when it comes to sales. And they've made a lot more headway when it comes to location intelligence. Uh, as it refers to using these next-gen technologies to plan, uh, plan in the format of what a store might look like, how a store might be laid out, uh, where a store might be, what the merchandise within that store is going to be and who it's aimed at. Um, all of these assets of planning are both overdue and well-reserved, or well-deserved, I should say. And there really is wisdom in the crowd. When we asked retailers to self-identify, what are you looking towards? They basically said, all of these things are in play permission-based information that's coming from consumers, anonymous data that we're able to scrape from their phones, non-anonymous data, literally all of it's in play. Their answer is essentially yes to everything. Every question that we asked is what kind of information are you looking to collect? What information are you already collecting? Everything really is in play. And that probably doesn't come as much of a surprise. Um, but one of the things that we were surprised about, and we talk about this a lot in the report itself, is what do retailers really and currently see the future of artificial intelligence and machine learning looking like. Now, we're not gonna share this today. That's in the full report itself. Today, we're gonna to focus in on the way that a retailer's performance drastically affects the way they view this topic and the technologies that relate to this topic overall. Uh, winners here in blue, everyone else, average and lagging retailers in red. And this chart, I'm not gonna take the time to walk through every single data point on it. It's a bit of an eye chart, I know, but it's instructive. It shows us just how much more value those who are already doing better than everybody else place on virtually every technology that we put before them. Again, it goes to site selection. It goes to assortment planning. Any single component of a retailer enterprise, um, those who are already doing better see more of an opportunity to use this next generation of intelligence and analytics to make the most of it. So if you're not thinking about this as the next big thing, uh, you probably should be because certainly the best performers already are. Um, and I talked you know, at the top of this very briefly about how planning is, seems to be about to have a moment. Um, this data should show you just from last year to this. Last year was the first time we conducted this particular piece of research. We did it again, almost unchanged this year, just to see uh, how much progress has really been made. And you can see here the 2019 over 2018 numbers show you that when it comes to planning things, whether it's assortment, whether it's localization, whether it's marrying customer and product segments together, um, all of these things are really on the move. And there's a tremendous amount of uptick in how valuable these things are to all retailers, not just winners, not just big guys. Um, and this again goes across products being sold, where they're located in the world, virtually every segment of retailer um, recognizes that this is, <laughs> there's certainly no slowing down this current trend. So if you'd like to read the full report, here's the link to it here. Uh, we invite everyone to read it. It's free of charge to the entire industry. Uh, this particular report was sponsored by Esri and we're very thankful to them uh, for their support of it. And there's a whole bunch of other ways that you could reach us. If you wanna email us or hit us up on Twitter or Facebook, or even on LinkedIn, uh, these are different ways that you can contact us. But certainly, hope you found value in this little short video, um, but also really hope you find value in the full report itself. Thank you.